Uh, do you want to start with the countdown, or should I do the countdown? You can do it. Okay, shall I just uh, do that now, then? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Alright, I just need to get into the file select screen. Alright, okay. We'll be beginning in... I'll say 3, 2, 1, then, then go, and then we'll go and go. Loud and clear. Okay. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Mike, and welcome to Donkey Kong 5, The Journey of Over, Time and Space. Uh, as you can probably tell by now, this is a bootleg game made to essentially redo Super Mario Bros, but with the Donkey Kong we skin. Um, now you'll see, uh, we started off as Diddy Kong, that's the equivalent of Small Mario, and then when we collected the power-up we went to Donkey Kong. Uh, this is the same kind of like power-up states as the original Mario Bros, in which we've got Small Mario, Big Mario, and Fire Mario. Uh, for this entire run, we'll be wanting to stay as the equivalents of Super Mario and Fire Mario. Uh, it is a Chinese bootleg, just so you know. Um, now, there's many tricks related to both the Red Donkey Kong and the Blue Donkey Kong, which we'll be exploiting. With the Red Donkey Kong, you saw in the first level we were hovering a bit. That's a technique known as Accelerated Donkey Hovering, which is performed by just mashing the B button over and over again whilst in the air. And when we're Blue Donkey Kong, we'll be able to shoot the equivalent of the fireballs, which in this game is just a Hadouken. Um, but he cannot donkey hover. But what he can do is by throwing a Hadouken whilst running, it will cancel our momentum instantly. Uh, so just like the regular Mario Bros, we have warp zones. Uh, so we're already in warp f uh, World 4 now. Uh, we're going to get power up here so we can damage boost a little later on. Um, now a lot of this game's assets are ripped from various other things, like you'll see these sprites are just ripped from Donkey Kong Country, however whilst he's running this is a rip from a Tasmanian Devil game. Uh, so here he's going to drop a bomb and we're going to shoot that with the token, jump over here. Uh, there's a few exploits in this game to do with loading, for instance we look up there to sometimes unload the bomb, it's fairly inconsistent, but if we look up here just to make sure no one's up there. Jump on here. So the fastest movement in the game is running along the ground, so we're going to be doing that as much as possible. And whenever in the air, ideally we're Red Donkey Kong and Donkey Hovering. Uh, so here's World 4-2. Now for some reason, when they were making this game, they only decided to have the first five worlds in it. Uh, however, there's a warp zone to the fifth world here, so we're just going to get past these enemies and take a power up for safety. Uh, now normally in this run, you're supposed to say it's Red Donkey Kong for the entire game. Uh, however, for Marth's, Marth and safety here, we are going to be playing as Blue Donkey Kong for a bit. And uh, now, as you'll notice, we did jump on, to, uh, on top of the level, uh, which allows us just to run all the way to the end without any fear of dying, unless we fall down one of these pits. Which we shouldn't do, and we're good. Okay, and we're finally in the final world, which is um, the only world which we'll actually complete fully. Uh, so we're going to jump over here. Uh, now there's, we're going to come across this bat enemy. Now he's arguably the worst enemy in the game. His hitbox is just so random. Uh, so the power we collected there, that's an invincibility, which means we can just run through this level with no problems now, as long as we don't drop a jump in boot. And there we go, there's 5-2. Or, no, sorry, that was level 5-1. Uh, for 5-2, um, we're going to encounter the equivalent of the Hammer Row enemy for the first time. Uh, now, we're just going to damage boost through it, uh, however, there's a chance we can just jump past him. Which we got, good. Um, now, this is a fairly old game, because it's for the Game Boy Color. Uh, it came out, we guess, sometime around 2001 through 2000, 2003. Uh, so what we're going to do is cancel our momentum there with the Doken, and ideally he doesn't throw a hammer. I'm not sure why he threw a hammer there, but oh well. I think we're a bit too far to the right, perhaps. So this is a nice level, because even if we have lost, we lost our power-ups earlier, there's two power-ups in this level, so we can get back to blue Donkey Kong for the next level. So 
So this is 5-3. This is a fairly straightforward level, uh, which we're going to be using Donkey Hovering in. So we're going to run up here, oh, if I get the jump, and we're going to damage boost through here. So we can get back to Red Donkey Kong and Donkey Hover. I'm going to jump over this guy and go full speed and use Donkey Hovering to make that platform. And we made it, cool. And okay, so we're on the final level. Uh, which should go well as long as we don't fall in a pit. So this is the first time we're actually going to be seeing the boss. Uh, similar to regular Mario, it's just the same boss for each world. However, because we skip all the other bosses, we haven't actually seen the boss yet. Uh, so we're going to be damage abusing in a little bit here. Uh, for these fire bars, we do have to duck under this one, otherwise we'll take damage. Uh, we're going to abuse through this one because it's just a really tricky jump to get anyway. Uh, the mechanics for hovering is just mashing the B button whilst in the air. I don't exactly... I haven't looked into exactly how it works, but it just kind of works. Uh, and time is coming up here. Sorry, probably just for not warning about time. I uh, should have done that. But uh, yeah, that's the... That is Donkey Kong 5. We have defeated Dracula, also known as... Um, I forget what they call him in the game. Lombadoan. Lombadoan? Whatever, we saved the Princess Sodama. And uh, that is a good thing. And that is the entirety of this game. Um, you got a little so, bit less than 5.45, let's say 42. 5.45 did you say? That would have been like yeah. PB pace, I'm not sure. Somewhere around there at least. Well anyway, that is, that is Donkey Kong 5. We didn't see worlds 2, 3, and we didn't see most of world 4 or 1. Uh, but that is, that is indeed Donkey Kong 5, and thank you all for watching. Up next is Pokemon Diamond.